everybody! I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I am going to be unboxing my Animal Crossing tea set. I am so excited about this. You have no idea. When this collection got announced, I was tweeting about it so much because I was freaking out. I mean, it's Animal Crossing. It's a tea set. It's pastel. It's like when you search all those things, my name may as well come up because it's so relevant to my interests. I'm all over this. So today's video is sponsored by Itai Kuji and they sent me a lot of the pieces from the Animal Crossing Kuji collection, which I'm so thrilled about because I did not think I was gonna be able to get my hands on this, for real. It's really hard for people like me who live in Canada, maybe you if you live in the US or Europe, wherever you live. If you're not in Japan, it can be really hard to get your hands on some of these items like every so often I will like do the whole shopping service thing to get like a very specific item I want like from a Lolita shop or from uh, Tokyo Disney or anything like that because like unless you're there there's some things that are just so hard to get a hold of and <sighs> Japan gets just better stuff than we do it's just a fact like of course North America is not getting this perfect amazing Animal Crossing tea set because why would that work out that way? So in times like this of great duress and need, it's really great to <laughs> have sites like Kuji where you can just order from them directly and they have this kind of stuff that is so hard to get outside of Japan. So the Animal Crossing set that I'm about to show you was part of a Kuji collection. Now I'm gonna explain to you what that is. So in Japan, like the Kuji system works like this. You go into whatever place, like a the anime store, a convenience store, a game store, whatever place it is, and then you purchase a ticket to participate in the Kuji game. It's basically like a lottery because when you open the ticket, it shows you the prize that you won. And with pretty much every Kuji thing, like there's been Sailor Moon Kujis, there's like been card capter ones, there's always tons of prizes that you can win that range in value. So like you could be uh, purchasing a ticket that costs like, I don't know, like $7 and there's prizes that are worth $7, but there's also prizes that are worth like a lot more, like 60 or $70. So you have a chance to win like higher value items, but you'll always get something good, especially if you like everything in the collection. Like for me, the Animal Crossing collection is that because I like everything in the collection and it's been that way with other collections too. Like I said, they recently did um, a Sailor Moon like sleepover Kuji game and everything in that collection was so cute too. But they have Kuji systems for like tons of stuff in Japan. They have it for like special pop-up cafes so that everyone has a fair chance of getting to go to it and have like tea there. There's concerts. There's so many things because it's kind of fun to participate in like the lottery system where you don't know exactly what you're gonna get. I think those are like the best kind of Kuji games to do is like when even the lowest value prize is something you still want anyway. Itaikuji.com emulates this kind of setup where you buy a ticket on their website for the specific Kuji game, like the Animal Crossing one, and then you have a chance of winning all of these different items and it's randomly determined by their website. So when you purchase uh, a Kuji ticket, it takes you to show you what you've won. It's super fun. So now that you understand how the Kuji system works, I'm gonna show you the Animal Crossing tea collection pieces that I have. I have five. The collection has even more than that. It has like some plush toys and stuff that I don't have. I'm not as interested in the plush toy aspect. I'm more interested in the actual like tea wear, like the cute plates and the tea. Okay, I gotta show you. The item that I wanted most of all in this entire collection was the teapot. I know, I'm very predictable. This teapot is so, so, so cute. And I will say this is not like a a full teapot that you'd have like with your friends having like multiple cups of tea. This is like a personal teapot. You're just making like one or two cups of tea in this one. So this is not like too, too big. Like I said, it's just kind of small, just personal size. It has the lid right here. So you can just put your loose tea right in here and pour your boiled water on top. And then it's so cute. This side has a little Animal Crossing house. And on this side here, there's kind of like a mermaid print. It has shells, it has a little Isabel. Ooh. In addition to the teapot, I have two of the plates from the collection. So this one here is a leaf that, well, technically it's furniture. I'm just kidding. This is what it looks like out of the package. And on the back, it has the very special Animal Crossing branding which is so cute. Like it's an officially licensed Nintendo product. This is the kind of perfect little plate that you could kind of keep on a bedside table or something too. Maybe put like your earrings and rings in it just as like a little special plate on the side of your bed. I do that all the time. Well, not so much anymore that I have cats now because they're little buggers and they like to get into everything and I can't leave 
jewelry out anymore. And this one is kind of matching the teapot. It's just white with a print on it, but it's super cute too. I guess it's not white, it's kind of creamy green. It's not really mint. Don't don't get me started on trying to decide what color things are. I could go for forever. My dream job is to work at Pantone and name colors. But this is like a very, very, very light green. And then it has a pattern of all of the different fruits on it. And it has Isabel's face. It has the girl villager's face. I just want to have an Animal Crossing tea party with these and the teapot just for myself. You could have a tea party by yourself. Don't worry about it. Now these two aren't strictly tea wear. You can use them as tea cloths, but they also can be used as washcloths because it's a KK slider washcloth slash, I mean, it's just a cloth, right? It's just a towel. And a mermaid print Animal Crossing cloth, washcloth, whatever, that matches the teapot. Look at this. That is, come on. That's so cute. It's got some of the villagers' faces. It's got Isabel. It's got like this really cute bric-a-brac kind of like housing roof. Also, wouldn't this be so cute to like sit the teapot on top of? I'm totally gonna do that. I don't care what this is for technically. This one I might be okay to use as a washcloth because this one doesn't match like the teapot as much. It's still super cute, but this one is made for the teapot as far as I'm concerned. Oh, this is super cute too. Look at, it. this is adorable. He's got his guitar, there's music notes, and it's honestly like super soft. This is gonna be my new face wash cloth because it makes me smile every time I look at his little face. I feel like this is kind of dorky, but I'm gonna tell you this because I don't care. I have taken recently because I work like nights usually now just because it's when it's super quiet in the city and it's when I can get lots of art done and so I'm kind of on a working night schedule right now and I really like to drink hot water at night like I usually just boil a whole kettle of hot water and just sit and drink really warm water because it it's soothing on my stomach and then like I'm not drinking a lot of caffeine late but when I just put hot water in a mug it gets cold so fast so I think what I'm gonna use this teapot a lot for in addition to just drinking tea like a normal person is <laughs> drinking hot water because it'll keep it so hot. And if you're someone who has trouble drinking a lot of water, like I once was, I would recommend drinking it really, really warm, like tea temperature. It's really helped me a lot. I know it's like a silly recommendation, but you'd be surprised how much it's actually helped me. And it's important to drink water, so let's all do our best. <laughs> I hope you guys like this unboxing. I'm so over the moon about this entire collection. If you get a chance, go check it out on their website and see everything that's in the collection. It's all so, so cute and mm, I love this teapot so much. <laughs> all right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go make myself some tea. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>